Sherry Fitzgerald want to do everything possible to help you achieve the maximum sale price for your home. With these series of videos, we'll be showing you how to make the most of the main areas of your home and just showing you simple things that you can do that don't have to cost an awful lot of money, but that really will make a difference. I think particularly with small gardens, I think it's really important to think about the garden almost as an additional room to the house. It's about being aspirational as well. So I know there's the practicalities of daily life with bins, bikes, but hide all of those things because it's really about showing the true potential of the space. So clearing away as much as you can, keeping some nice potted plants. It's, you know, a colorful table, some lovely chairs. Let people see the way that they could use the garden. Mm -hmm. Um, looking at living rooms, the first thing I guess to do would be to clear away anything that's superfluous like newspapers, remote controls, even laptops. You know, a lot of what people are looking for is space. So if you have any big objects like couches in the way or too much furniture, the main thing is to move them back or even take them out altogether. And family photographs and personal items as well, it's really important to clear that away just so that prospective buyers can really imagine themselves living in the space. You need to do a deep clean. So um, floors, any soft furnishings, carpets, rugs, all need to be really clean. Yeah, and professionally clean mm. if possible. I mean, there are companies who can clean sofas in situ and the same with rugs. It is going to make a massive difference. When it comes to colour, try and keep it as simple as possible. So bring colour in through accessories, things like cushions, rugs. You don't have to buy these things. You might be able to borrow them from family or friends, but limit it to maybe one or two colours max. Otherwise, it's going to feel cluttered. And that's exactly what you don't want to happen. I guess when you're looking at kitchens, cleanliness is the most important thing. People want to walk into a nice, clean, fresh smelling environment. Squeaky clean. Yeah. It can be very, very stressful trying to get to your house pristine every day. So if you can remove as much of the stuff as possible and keep it out of the house, it's going to make your day-to-day -day life an awful lot easier. And I think if there's anything glaringly wrong with the kitchen, if it needs just a very quick lick of paint or maybe some of the handles replaced, small things that don't cost too much but will make a big difference, it's really worth doing them. If your kitchen is large enough to take a dining table, really maximise that. Make sure the table is pulled away from the wall, get as many chairs around it as possible and just show people that it has got that space to entertain in. With bedrooms, the most important thing to think about is keeping the area as clear and free from clutter as possible. So keep all clothes put away. If possible, remove as much from your bedroom so that getting it ready each morning isn't going to be a really difficult task. Things like laundry baskets, shoes, all of these items can be quite off-putting, so make sure they're put out of sight. Imagine when you leave in the morning that your bedroom should look like a hotel bedroom, so that means neutral, white if possible, bed clothes, the beds should be made up really nicely, the side tables should be clear, and generally nothing left in the room. So with bathrooms, what's really important is to keep it as clean as possible. Clear away any toiletries, uh, cleaning products, just get them out of sight. Okay. Smell is obviously really important, so things like scented candles, nice soaps, nice fluffy towels, just make it as clean and inviting as possible. Things like toilet seats, keep them down, and even keep the door closed so that people can go in, but it's not on view when they walk into the house straight away. Remember, first impressions really count. Listen to your agent, be objective, and put yourself in the shoes of the viewer.